Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to um, look at toasts and toasts are like little kind of pop-up boxes that disappear by themselves and if you want to inform the user of something um, the simplest way is probably to use a toast and you, you could use a dialogue but that can be annoying because you have to click on them to get rid of them and you could add a notification to the notification area but um, toasts are um, one of the simplest ways, certainly. So um, let's uh, let's go to my main activity .java, and um, I'm going to here. I've got a couple of places where I write debug messages at the moment. Um, basically, if I'm unable to load the file or save the file, I'll output a debug message, and I'd like to replace that with a toast. But to show you the toast working, I'm just going to copy out. Uh, I'm just going to comment out this code in the on save button handler and I'm going to create a toast in here just to get this working and then later on outside of this video I, I'm going to replace these debug statements with toasts so that if the file can't be loaded or saved we can inform the user in a sensible fashion. To create a toast you just use the toast class and um, use this make text method and um, the, the first argument here is a reference to the activity you're in, which um, normally would be this, but I'm, I think I'm in, yeah, I'm in a method of an anonymous class here. So to get the this reference of mainactivity.java, I'm going to have to type mainactivity.this, and this is just standard Java and not an Android specific thing. Then uh, the duration here. Um, if I type toast dot, you can have um, toast that last a long time or a short time. And I'm going to go for length long here because I want to make sure the user definitely notices this. Now for the text, um, I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to my strings.xml here under res under res values and add a new string in here. So um, I'll click add, double click string. And I'm, gu I'm going to give it a name, toast can't save, and a value of um, unable to save notes or note, and then say, let's say, is there sufficient space? Question mark, and that's about the best we can do, I think. Um, so I'll save that, and now if we look at R r.java all being well under the gen folder here we should find that under string we've now got an ID for that string so let's go to um, and if you haven't got it it's, it's because something's wrong like you have an error in your application in one of your layouts or something like that which is preventing r.java from being regenerated that's assuming you've saved it of course so never edit r.java yourself um, always get it to regenerate and let's go to um, uh, main activity now and now I can type for the text of the toast r dot string dot and toast can't save and I need to actually use this to get the string so I'm going to type um, get string get string is a method of the um, the activity so when you're when you're within an activity you can type get string and pass it the ID of a string from R and that will get you your string. Now to actually display the toast, um, this, this would like return me um, some, I guess, a toast object. But to actually display it, I need to type dot show to display the toast like that. And so you can do this all in one line if you want, um, or you could um, create the toast with make text and then um, call.show later on it. But this should, should do the trick. So let's check that this works now. I'm going to click the green run button and I've got my emulator working. And let's, uh, let's take a look at the console and see what it says. So it's installing my application and in a minute it's going to say success. And then we're going to see the application on the screen. And here we go. Let's click Save. And there's my toast. Unable to save note. Is there sufficient space? 
So that's the toast. And uh, I'm going to use those to inform the user in this application of error conditions. So that's it for this tutorial. And until next time, happy coding.